Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden project. So today, Biddy, Mom, and I are going to be starting on a new project in her front garden. Y'all have been watching as she's been working on all her projects. And what'd you buy, Mom? I bought a arbor. You can barely see it because it's on the ground, but she bought a white arbor to go out in the garden. She's going to be growing a Peggy Martin climbing rose on it. She actually bought two, one for her, one for me, but I'm going to be growing mine on my chain link fence. So we're going to put the arbor together today. It came from New Orleans. Came from New Orleans, we're in Alabama. So we're gonna put the arbor together today and depending on how hard it is, we may plant the roses in a different video or it may all be in this video. Y'all will know before I do based on the title of the video. So today we're gonna get started with the arbor. I guess let's open the box. I'm gonna tell them a little bit about Peggy Martin's rose. Come over here and you tell them. Okay. So mom found out about this rose. It's called the Peggy Martin Climbing Rose. Yes. And it is from New Orleans. It was, it survived Hurricane Katrina. And it was in 20 feet. It was, it had of, grown. Of 20 yeah. feet of submerged water from Hurricane Katrina. And it so, was huge. And it flourished. It grows about 15 feet. Almost tall and wide, right? It, it's huge. It's yeah. really. I'll prolific. try to put some, and, some and, pictures. And it's almost thornless. So that is huge. Now, the almost. one thing that we were surprised about, because mom got two of them. She went on a cruise out of New Orleans. So when she came back, she was like, what do you want as a souvenir? And I was like, roses. <laughs> <laughs> so she went, not for me specifically, she wanted the rose, I but it. I did point it out to her. Um, but she went to a nursery specifically in New Orleans to get these roses. Um, but we were very surprised when we actually got them home because you see pictures of them and you don't realize, but the roses themselves they're, are- They're pretty small. They're pretty they're about small. two inches wide. They are not the big blossoms. Now they're very but pretty. They're prolific. There's and there's so many a lot of them. them. That's why they look like they're bigger because mm -hmm. there's so many of them on one plant. But I was, I was surprised so. with how small they are. But let's go ahead. And they're supposed to be very fragrant. Yeah, so let's go ahead and build this arbor. We're gonna see, they're supposed to grow 15 feet. So we're hoping in a couple years, this arbor will be just completely full of blooms. Yes. And again, I'm hoping it hides my entire fence. So we're gonna start with the arbor. And if we do a separate Peggy Martin Rose video, um, we will re-explain this then. Okay. Do we need scissors, Mom? Um, let's look at the box and see. Okay. I'm guessing it's taped up. Yeah. <laughs> Am I supposed to open it with my teeth? What do you mean, see if I can open it? Yeah. Well, maybe it was one of those ones that's kind of cold. I hope not. They shipped it. And like, this is the outside shipping box. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. Starting at the beginning, let's get into this. It is made out of uh, white PVC vinyl. Here so it is. should be very durable and it should last a long time. And this is actually from the same company, I believe, that I've been looking at buying my raised beds from. So, see if you like Mom's Arbor first. Vita. I've looked at Vita and I've looked at Duratec. Yeah. They both look very similar. Power drill. Power drill. Woo -woo. All right, I'll be back. So here's an overview. You can see the box. And we're just taking everything out and laying it down. And then we've got, looks like instructions right in here. So we will see how this goes. Look at that. I 
Princess, are you going to be in the video? Did you want to say where I got the art from? Where did you get the art from? Wayfair. Wayfair. We can put a link to the one you bought. Yeah, it was on sale. It was on sale. Mom checked everywhere. Yeah. Like, literally every single place she could think of like for an arbor. Because A, she wanted a certain kind of style. B, she wanted one that was wide enough that she could fit a bench in between the support if she wanted to. Um, I don't believe this one ended up being that wide because she just didn't like all the I ones see. that were wide enough were very straight. Yeah. And so she ended up getting one that was more curved. And the bench that she has is just It'll a wooden right bench. It. It'll fit behind it. Um, we see some white benches that are smaller. And they like my little white bench would fit. So we may get a white bench to fit into this one in the future. I'll leave a link to my white bench below. It would definitely fit. And it oh, would be yeah. pretty because it's white, whereas this one is wooden and black. So that's kind of what we're thinking is a little white bench under the white arbor with the rose overneath it. Overneath it? Over, over top okay. it. Okay, so we have to have. Want me to look at it? Yeah. Check the inside. These. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. All right. We have to have. Hi, sweet girl. I know. I missed you too. I haven't seen you in so many years. Four posts. Which we have four posts. We have to have four oh, post two caps. One, two, three. Yeah, Keystones, which are inside of these things. So these say, "Look inside for keystone." And how you, how do you take it out? You just pull it out. But thought it would need be more two of each. Here they are. Okay. Perfect. And then two of those. And then we need. The arch rafters. We need six of those. Those must be inside of something. Yeah, there's something inside these. Yeah, oh, yeah. Whoa. One, two. One, two. Oh, oh, on the side. This is like a magic trick. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Though, like, it, yeah, it came in very small, box. yeah, and it's and not a big, it not scratched up or anything. So, you know, they did a good job using their space wise. Comes right out that Comes way. Right out this way. Except for this one that you got stuck. Alright, see you pulling down there when I'm trying to push up here is less helpful than you might think. Hey, hey, hey. I have to check all this off once we get everything else. Don't force the end up when I'm trying to put it down. It makes it really hard. Okay. 
everything out for sure. All right. So these must be the lattice pieces for the sides. Yeah. Okay. All right. So beat them off real loud and we'll hold them up. All right. So four posts over there. Four posts, which are Whoa. the long pieces. Perfect. What's next? Next is four post caps, which, which are, are these. Princess, come up here and show them the post caps. Yeah, we do that. Four post caps. Okay. Four, but these over there. True. Sure. I'm there. Yeah. Do it this way. Then comes the arches. These are the arches. Four of these. Four of these. Hey, Princess, thank you for coming and helping. Very helpful. Yes. Keystone bottom plates two. Five. Love you. Keystone arches two. I just put chaps to. I think it's bad. Are the arc the keystone arches? Okay, we got the and it says art keystone arches, inserts, and lids. Well, these are the lids, yeah. These are the arches, arches, inserts, a lid. You have the other lid? No, I'm pretty sure it's over here. There's the other lid. Oh, I told you it was going to rain. Okay. okay. Um, keystone bottom plates, too. I think those are the keys. doesn't really go in there teeny tiny, so I'm guessing it's got to be these right here. Princess, stay up here. Princess, come here. here. Now. <clears throat> okay, little girl. Keystone bottom plates. We already did that. Keystone arch rack arch rack That's no, no, no. That's these. All right, hold them up. I think. Be good or going to figure it out. They don't have anything on it. It's a little bit tough. Six of these. Our trackers. I think these are because there's six of these. Yeah. These have got to be. Okay, so these. Long skinny ones. There's two sets of long skinny ones, and these do not have holes. These have holes in them. These yeah. do not. So these are the arches. Arch rafters. Arch rafters. Okay. 
Alright. Next we have side panel horizontal bent top rail. Seven. We have two, two of those. Of these. Yes. So these are what? Side panel horizontal bent top rails. Bent top rails. Okay. And then we have side panel horizontal mid rails. And there's two of them. Those? I'm not sure. Let me see. Or. What are, which part are we on? Which number? Uh, eight. Yeah, those are those two. They have, holes yeah. in them. they have holes in them, so that's how you know number eight. Side panel, horizontal, mid rails. All right, so then we have eight side panel, horizontal spindles short. That's number nine. And it is these little tiny slats. Okay, you don't have any more room left on that side. Then 10 is side panel vertical spindles long, and that is those 10 How many do you have back? Two. Two middle, two right. Yeah, they look identical. So two, 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 and that would be six. Okay. There's two left, two middle, two right. Okay. Yeah. There's so. six. Yeah. There they are. I think the two left will have holes just on the left. The two middle will probably have holes on either side. Either side. And the right. two right will just have holes on the right. Yeah. Right. Okay? That's exactly so it. So that's these long ones. Yeah, that's exactly it. Here. And you can see these have holes on one side and not the other. So when you're putting them in, you'll know if they need to go on the left side, there's two width ones on either side for the middle. And then you'll want the openings on the other side for the right. And these are the middle ones that have them on either side. On both sides. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So that's 10, 11, 12. 13 is the side bottom rails, which is these two. So these are going to be the bottom of the side arbors. Okay. 15 is the ground mounting extensions, which are these. So I guess that's if you need to make it taller into the ground or maybe just to secure it. Two by four. Yeah, it's for two by fours. And then 15 are the screws. Yeah, we so we're good. We need a cordless drill, a hammer, a tape measure, a level, a stool or a short step ladder, and a shovel. I imagine you could do it without a cordless drill if you had time, patience, and muscles, but it does recommend a cordless drill. Princess! Come here, princess. Come here now! She's just standing on the sidewalk looking at the street like we're going to let her run away. Are you, you are getting way too much freedom, little miss. You're watching her right now, and yet she was down there. I didn't let her out either. I put her in the back, and she climbs the gate and let herself out with the door, or she will climb She doesn't climb the gate at my house. She doesn't have to climb the gate. Princess, are you a gate escaper at Grandma's house? You have to close it. She All right, do that at my house. So what's next? So what do we start with? I guess I should. Be All right, so. Mom just put the directions away, like, now that we've gone through the supply list, we're all knowing. We are. <laughs> we're going to start with step one, but I'm going to go put this escapee away. We'll be right back. Escape convict. Escape convict. Yep. Come on. To the pin. Escapee. So what's first? Fireworks. Yeah, it is the 3rd of July. We do the arch, which is the two arches and the um, keystones. We put all that together first with the keystones. These? No. Or the, this. That. Yeah, the second. Okay, so we're going to use these big arches and the keystones first. Yes. So we want to make sure. We put 
Yeah. So you can see that these have curves on either side. So the, the keystones will go in the middle of them. So when you lay them out, make sure you've got left, right, left, right. Okay. Figure it out with the first one, and we'll show you on the second one. Okay, so here is the keystone. You can see this is the top and bottom, or bottom and top, but each side has these cutouts. So we're going to fit the sides here. They fit perfectly in these notches. So yeah. you're going to slide it in until the sides connect, and we'll do we'll do one side and then the other. Yeah, actually. It but this it's one's more stable. This one's more stable. So we just put the keystone holder underneath. As a brace. And it's a really good brace because the curve of this is a lot. And yeah, if we push down on it too hard, it'll make the curve break. It will crack the curve. Yeah. And so I just grabbed a little drill bit and we're just dr pre-drilling these holes. Do you want to do the other one or do you want me yeah, to drill that? Yeah, let's do the other one because that way we can do both at the same time. Drill them both at the same time. Okay. You got me. There you go. Perfect. So just make sure you are pushing in tight when you pre-drill. That way... It's in the right Everything's spot. in the right place when you go to drill your Hole. screws in, okay? Yeah. You don't want your your arch to be wonky because you drilled in the wrong spot and it wasn't tight. So now we've got our tapered screws and we're going to start here. Straight down. Side one. Must have twisted it when we walked over here. Of course, my tripod broke, so I'm, my top down arm isn't working. So, until I get it fixed or a new one, going back to the OG way of filming, which is rest the camera on anything slightly horizontal. All right, we put the end cap on and it just, it literally just snaps into place, okay? So now we're gonna turn it over. Drill again. Do the same thing. So as I drill down, mom is going to push up and just make sure that these sides here are tight to that middle brace. Yep, see how that wasn't quite in the right spot. That way our arch is Right. Straight, straight, straight as we put the arbor together. Because the last thing we want to do is get all the sides built, put this thing up, and have a wonky arch. I hope you guys can hear us okay over the rain, but after the heat wave we have been having, uh, this rain feels so good, yes. and it is so good. For the plants, you guys. Like, yeah. We've been <laughs> you, watering three times a day. Three times a day, and the plants still look like death. I took already out too. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize. If you watched, I just did a heat wave update on my plants, and at the very end, it just started pouring, and it's been raining ever since. The best kind of rain, just slow and steady. Yeah. Goes right into the ground. Makes everything very happy, including me because my 
hose and my drip system, you guys just watched me install down my shed, busted a hole last night. Not the drip, but the actual hose. So there's the bottom, and now mom has the last piece in here. Bitty. She has eaten that weed that has grown its way up your porch, she says. No weeds at my grandma's house. I'll take care of it for you, grandma. <sighs> okay, I can't get it in there. You don't have to do it. You did it last time. My hands are just strong as yours. That's not true. Our hands are just differently weak. I think you're doing it the wrong way. <laughs> there you go. All right. Better. Looks good. Slide it down just a little, but that's the bottom. Doesn't it look pretty? Like All right, it. back to the drawing board. Let's see what the next steps are. Okay, so now that we have both of our arches done, the next step is to put the in in between pieces or the arch rafters in place and show them on they have a they have little notches on the sides. So mom's gonna see if she can do it. Oh yeah. All right. So do you want to do all the way across one side and then the other? Oh yeah, this step is much easier than last step. <laughs> like notches. The other step wouldn't have been as bad if the, the screws were better or if the pre-drilled holes were better. Yeah, and if it had been straight. Luckily we do have drill bits, so it was fine. I think it would be better served if you put that face down on the ground oh, and tried to pop it in from up top. Okay. And I can help if need be, just let me know. You want me to help? Yeah, that's right. Why would it be wrong? Start at one end and go down. Yeah. I don't want to get locked out. Yeah, that's All right, third. Mom added another piece to the supply list as well. Her kneeling pad. <laughs> okay, please don't break it. Oh, it looks so pretty. Are you excited? All right, what's next? Put to the side. I think we got to do the Assemble the side panels. Is that like the Avengers? Uh, Assemble the Avengers. All right, I'm gonna switch cameras, y'all, but here's the steps. So we're going to do, looks like those middle and right pieces and then connect the tops and bottoms. Now we need the four short spindles. Are these, no, oh, four. Okay, yeah. I know huh? Okay. Insert four into the left vertical spindle, one right vertical spindle, and one short vertical spindle that is position in the middle. So we just need left, right, and middle. 
Lay out the horizontal bottom rail and insert the vertical spindles. Slide the horizontal main rail over the ends. And then do the arch. All right, so. So these just slid right into the holes. And then we've got our middle one. The only thing to make sure is you see at one end there is a notch. So you need to make sure those all are together. So that's how you know whether it's top or the top or the bottom. We need to go like in order, not just like. Well, I was trying to like place them kind of ready. There we go. And they're not locked in until we put that bottom and top piece on. So just be careful. So right now the middle spindle is pushed all the way down. There's literally nothing holding these together at the moment. So we're going to lay it flat. Keep it tight. Now we are going to insert those three notches into these three holes. Yes, you can see the notches fit right into the holes. So that's how you know they're the right way. So. Oh, oh yeah, I'm Now this is, I think, the next piece and the last piece. So we are going to put thread this down over and then this over the top so you can see they've each got matching holes. So. Let me set that down and hold it. That I can hold both that I could not. Yeah. All right, so there's one completed piece. Let's Wait a minute now, Betsy. There's a notch on here. Is there any notches on the top? No. Okay. All right, last but not least, we've got we're gonna have to do this side. We're gonna we're gonna put the sides on it, yeah. So these are the sides here. Mm -hmm. That can go on the other side here. Once you have a right and a left. Yeah. So you can see here that this large notch, like the keystone, is going to fit in that bottom bar. So that will fit on this side here. Ooh. Ooh. Mom just took it all out. Can you lay it down at this point, you think? Maybe. Maybe Let's try to lay it down so I think it's going to get harder to hold up and work on. So we can pick the right side to lay it down on. All right, so we insert this, but there's gotta be 
Well, this screws. is going to hold it in right here, but that's only one. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, there's notches on the bottom of this as well. Okay. Okay, so it says as you put it in, you have to start with the top bent rail first. Probably because it doesn't have any notches. So, let's do that, and then I'll try to get y'all a top down view. Okay. This one. Oh, I have not put mine in all the way. I didn't. I don't want to snap it. I think it's not a bolt. I want to see how that works. Because this is lower. Yeah. Does this say left or right? It says right. Okay, good. That would mean you need left. So, should be this way. Right. Yeah. No. Look, look right in your hand. Look in your hand. It's up there. Again. That's what I was trying to figure out. I was like, this doesn't match. Yeah, it doesn't look right for me. Gotta do the top one first. Yep, top first, then middle. Yeah, and this should be All right, now pop in. There we go. And we have built one whole side. One whole side. Woohoo! We're very good at this. Oh, let's not get carried away. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the other side. Okay, so we're going to do the other side for you. So you can see we've got the three long pieces, left, middle, right laid out. Mom's going to start putting the slots in. So the way this whole middle part works is it all slides together. And then this piece and one of these pieces up here behind mom, that's what locks into place on the long rails. So... As you're putting this together, it's all just sliding together. Nothing is keeping it together other than gravity at this point. So this is the middle rail. Just get it all lined up as you go down. Once you get it lined up, it'll just go down. And now we gotta do the top, top roll. It was easy to clear. Easier, not on camera. Okay. There's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we lay it down. All right, so now you can see we've got the three notches and they go right in here. So, here, Mom, hold this right here and just show them. I'm just gonna slide these. I really they literally just slide together. They don't pop or anything. No. Nothing holding them but gravity. gravity. So now oh, yeah. that just goes on top. And of course, if you're not doing this exact arbor, you know, the directions are gonna be different. But oh, oh, a lot of them are very similar. So you know, this will help. If you're making this exact arbor, this will really help. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's the top. Perfect. So now we've got our top, middle, bottom. And this is the one, the left side. Yep. You can see the holes there. And this notch matches here. So the directions tell you to put this top arch in first into that first hole. It does not have a notch. 
And then you're gonna slide that, that one up. Oh, it's getting all wonky. It's wonky. You gotta push the middle one to the left. There you go. Mom has somehow wonkified it all. It'll be okay. All right. And now we'll pick this up. All right. And then I will try to do mine. Yay, you did it with your foot. <laughs> with my foot. I'm a foot popper. All right. And then right behind mom is the other side. And these two are labeled with left and right. So you cannot confuse them. Even if you are confused, like I said, they're, these notches are the most distinct. So that's what I'm looking for. Perfect. And pop. Mine in. pop. Here we go. And it is done. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So this is the bottom. There we go. You want to hold it so I can show it to him, Mom? Sure. There it is. She's in jail. <laughs> All right. Let me get the instructions. In Rose, Arbor Rose Arbor Jail. I guess there's worse places to be. Sure. So now I'm guessing we're going to have to connect it all. So yeah, buddy. we thread the top of the arch through the holes. Okay. Adjust the opening width to 42 inches between the posts. Fasten the arch by installing the screws and placing the post caps. All right. Sounds easy enough. Okay, this has been this knock has on been wood. Hard. It has not been hard. We have had much harder projects. But it has not been easy. But it has not been easy. That is not. There's a lot of screws left over. Well, I mean, there's a lot of screws. Is that a problem? They never give us enough screws. For all you know, we need 18 to fasten the top on, and we're short. Comments make it easier. The comments make it easier. The, oh. All right. All right. Should so, we put this down? Yeah, I think we should put that down. So that needs to go. Nope, we're doing it wrong. Other way? Yeah, because this flat side is the inside. Okay. All right. So. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're just gonna put this in and see how it goes. And obviously, we're gonna have to stand it up eventually, but for now, you want to put it in and then stand it up, I guess. And then we'll do the other side once it's up. Well, we have to, don't we have to? Screw it in, or does it go? How do we know exactly where to screw it? I don't know. You said to screw it at 42 inches. I'm not sure where we're screwing. Here, we're screwing here. Okay. We're screwing right in here. But did it go through? Did it pop? There's no pop. It literally just slides. Okay. Pop, lock, and drop. That would have been helpful if you could pay it top. Yeah. We're just supposed to measure, measure it, it to 42 and then go. All right. So here's the question. Well, how can you do that? I don't know. We bought this thing. We're going to have to put it on its side to do it. it. We're going to do it this way. The whole top is going to Yeah, so it's going to go on its side. Help me turn it on its side and then we'll get that part. Yeah. yeah, that looks better. Okay, there we go. So here's my question is, we can look at the directions maybe for a picture. Yeah, I think, so when you look at the diagram, it is just past 
the flat part. So I think we should just measure the equal distance past all four flat parts and call that good. Okay. So maybe instead of an inch amount, just find like, yeah, yeah. A space right now. We'll use like the handle of the hammer or something. Let me get out. My <laughs> kids are the art. Oh, my kids are very. Bottom pieces, Let me flip it over, and do the other ones. Yeah. All right. Measuring tape for treble. Activate. All right. So we're going to measure the inside to see if it's what 42 it said. Yeah. So it says 42 is the optimal distance between the two inside parts of the arch to make sure that it's balanced properly and supported properly. So while you could go less or more, the more you put inside, the more space, the less the load will be evenly distributed. The heavier your climbers get, the more weight, eventually it may fail. So. It might be 42, it might be 44. Read the instructions at the bottom there. 44. 42. 42. So it's up to you. That's good. I think that's where we should do it. Okay. Almost an inch on either side. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and um, get the camera and you can film top down while I screw them in. Okay, so as you can see, we've laid it out. These are the sides and they have the, those openings we showed you. So we've threaded the top piece through those holes. Then we measured the inside to 42 and that leaves an inch here on the side. So now what we're going to do is come in here, tighten, show them them. So you can see right down here, there are two holes where this baby is pre-drilled through the outside piece to accept screws. So you go ahead and pre-drill because we already know that these tapered screws are not great. You want to do the other side? No, I'll do it when I get over there. It is a it is a battle between which is harder, switching this out 
or getting up and down. <laughs> and switching this out is easier than getting up and down. Okay. So now I am just going to screw this in place. That will hold the sides to the arch. Perfect. So once we get this bottom side done, we'll flip it over and do this side so that we're not drilling upwards. And then we have the end top caps that will go on. These ones, I don't know if you noticed, but um, they were the proper size for those screws. I, they weren't wobbly like they were on the inside of the keystone. Wow. So either they fixed it, they haven't fixed it on the keystones, or it's just a little, just to position, I don't know. All right, to the other side. You just want to make sure that as you're doing this, you do not drill the hole and then kick it or fall on it or move it around. Because once you've drilled those holes, you want to put your screws directly into those holes. Otherwise, you'll have to drill new ones because you'll never find two little holes in here again. That fit down in there much better. Yeah. That's a little thing, but it means I can focus on putting pressure on the drill and drilling straight down and not keeping my screw from falling over. Oh, okay. Right. So now we're gonna. Flip it over and do the other side and then we'll be back and we'll show you standing up how to put the end caps on. So I secured both sides. These are our end caps. You can see there are um, notches on the post so we should just be able to put that finishing touch on right there. Yep. So now we're not going to be able to dig the holes and put the cement in and secure this in the ground today. but. You want to carry it over there and see how it looks? Yeah. Mom's nodding and smiling. So give us two seconds. We're going to bring this over there and we will show you where she's going to put it. All right. I think it looks good. It's going to make this garden look really pretty. <laughs> so this is mom's bench. You can see it's wooden. Tell them about this bench, mom. So long ago that I don't even remember giving it to her. Mm -hmm. So, and the, the original pieces of wood that were on it 
just kind of rotted. Yeah. It was just in my garden kind of as Just as visible. And a friend of mine went over side on me and it was fine. <laughs> and all of a sudden, one of my dogs decided to jump up on it. Bowser. <laughs> and he, he jumped on it and it went. <laughs> and they all flew on the bottom, on the ground, and fell on their behind. So it, it was pretty funny. So mom went and she used her jigsaw to recut all the boards, screw them all together. Mom completely did this by herself. She rebuilt it. And it's not perfect, but I think it's pretty darn good. Some stain or sealer or something. It would look pretty white. Sentimental. So... Here's the Peggy Martin Rose. Dun da da da. Here's a picture of the blooms because it doesn't have any on it right now, but they are gorgeous. And it will eventually climb all the way up and over. That's what we were thinking next time we go to New Orleans because we do go there semi regularly. Um, my lovely cardboard garden. Yes. So if you saw the video on my channel about the cardboard no dig method, mom is of course who I learned that from. And she is, this garden, it's starting to really come together. You guys have been watching. We're gonna show you. We did all our transplanted roses. They're looking great. It's got new growth. This one looks good. The stick one we thought was dead, dead, dead. It is coming back. Leaves coming out. See? All over it. I mean, it didn't look great when we transplanted it and then that heat wave. You guys, we thought it was just a stick. The the Vitex looks great. Blue blooms. Kind of like the butterfly bush or lilac. She got a bunch of beautiful daylilies to plant. We've got all our proven winners, Truffula Pink Gumbrina, which you guys know we already love. We've got some ferns. You watched us plant. Well, you haven't actually, we haven't actually finished that foundation plant vi video, but we plant this dogwood in it and this oak leaf hydrangea in it. So, and this little hydrangea. <laughs> yeah. Gardenia. Gardenia back there. So. That is a, wow. Cedar. We're gonna put something in that bucket as well. That'll be pretty. But this whole side is really coming together. I think the arch is the perfect, like, big piece to pull it all together. So you guys will get to watch as we keep working on it. Yes, so you saw on the other side, Mom and I showed you the entire how to put drip in your garden bed on the other side, but she's already started putting it out all the way here. And it's, I mean, it's running, it's watering the things that are there. So it's working, which is nice because she'd been dragging a hose over here every day. But I do think we are probably going to do the Peggy Martin roses. We'll do a full video on those and show you lots of pretty pictures because um, this video ended up being much longer than we were hoping. So we will be back hopefully in the next couple days to plant those and let you know how they look. Yeah, put this thing in the ground. So we will see you then. Bye.